He is accused of plotting to overthrow the German parliament and install himself as head of state. Heinrich the 13th Prince Reuss, a man with an aristocratic background who prosecutors say wanted to bring back the old imperial German Reich after a coup d'etat. Among those on trial with him are a former judge and two ex-senior army officers. Court officials say it's one of the most complex cases in recent German history. It's impossible to say how long this trial will last. The court has already scheduled about 50 days up until January. But it's not an indication. It may last much longer. It depends how much testimony the defendants give. One of the central charges is that Royce and the others used his properties in the state of Thuringia to formulate their plans, including one where they stashed illegal weapons and ammunition for their alleged coup. Most of the defendants have been in custody since their arrest nearly 18 months ago, including this lady, Birgit Malzak Winkermann, who was still a civil judge when she was detained, but was once a member of parliament for the far-right Alternative for Germany, or IFD, party. It's alleged she knowingly showed fellow conspirators around the Bundestag while still in office. Defense lawyers reject the charges. One for Heinrich Reuss says his client has been demonized. He's portrayed as some big monster who was the leader of the whole thing. It's just not true. The media are pushing this and it's simply wrong, but we will rectify that. The defendants are broadly part of the Reichsburger movement, which does not recognize modern Germany, believing the pre-World War I imperial predecessor lives on. Which explains why this building was so important to the Reuss group. In its current guise as the Bundestag, prosecutors say the accused wanted to seize it and to throw out its elected members. But as the old Reichstag, it represents the time of the Kaisers, which they allegedly wanted to restore. The authorities say these defendants believed in the so-called deep state theory. Their lawyers say there's no evidence they committed any crimes. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.